During the height of the pandemic, a Tulsa woman became an international inspiration for fashion and faith. And now there's an exciting new twist to her story. 10 News Oklahoma anchor Julie Chin introduces us to Dr. Laverne Ford Wimberly and shows us why she's positively Oklahoma. I designed this hat. This is my very favorite. Dr. Laverne Ford Wimberly is a woman who wears many hats. 60 or more, almost in every color that you can imagine. She's a Tulsa and celebrated educator who devoted nearly 40 years to Tulsa Public Schools. I like to tell people, Julie, that I did everything except drive the bus and fix the trial nutrition meals. <laughs> and this 80-something-year-old is also a social media sweetheart, famous for her Sunday style. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. The story of this faithful fashionista's rise to fame begins in March of 2020. I knew that I did not want to just sit around and just feel sorry for myself being alone and that kind of thing. So I thought, well, if I had been going to regular church, I would have been dressing up. So she dressed up for online services at Metropolitan Baptist Church. She'd snap a selfie and post it along with encouraging scripture each week. For 52 Sundays. And of course, I never put on the same outfit twice. Yeah. And I think that was what was really kind of uh, intriguing for a lot of people. And with all the hats that I do have, and what I to will tell them that uh, appearances is not the thing, it's what's in the heart that really counts. Her smile, style, and spirit captured the church's attention and caught on worldwide. The most thrilling thing happened with the Washington Post on Easter Sunday, they put that story on their front page. Dr. Wimberly's style creating such a sensation, even designers started sending her fashions. And the gifts didn't stop there. She received everything from this hand-painted jean jacket to this jigsaw puzzle. Trevor Noel, my favorite comedian, mentioned me one day, one night on his show. So I've had all kinds of people that you never would have thought would have said anything, but they were also encouraged and inspired by my uh, inspirational messages. That included an editor at HarperCollins who convinced Dr. Wimberly to turn her story into a book. We put together a team with the uh, agent and the writer, the ghost writer, and others. The result, my Sunday best. Pearls of wisdom, wit, grace, and style. Well, you will find really a, a story of my life and a story of my career and my love of God. The pages are filled with Wimberly's words of wisdom and stories that inspire. Like this chapter on honor, where she talks about the library named after her at Booker T. Washington. Oh, that's well, the greatest honor to know that I had been a student there and graduated in 1956 and then to be able to go into the building now and see your name on the wall is just awesome. You'll find all 52 selfies in these pages too. All this, an unexpected chapter in this chapter of life. Regardless of age, you can still impact the world. And now I'm 84. And the book, a new feather in the cap for this woman with so many hats. I still can't believe it and I pick it up every day. <laughs> Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. Gotta love her. My Sunday Best will be released Tuesday, March 21st at Fulton Street Books, Amazon, and other stores. Dr. Wimberly is holding a book signing this Sunday, March 19th at Metropolitan Baptist Church. We've added a link for pre-orders at kjrh.com. Click on Positively Oklahoma.